Perseverance rover has phoned home again after a cosmic alignment forced two weeks of radio silence. How did it and the Ingenuity helicopter do without humans in the loop? Tango Delta. Touchdown confirmed. Perseverance safely on the surface of Mars. After the end of solar conjunction on Sol 236, October 19th on Earth, Perseverance shot this navcam mosaic of itself, turned it into a radio signal, and beamed it past the sun to our waiting planet on the other side. This was its way to show us it was okay. After two weeks parked in the same spot, Martian winds managed to move around a few grains of the sand that had been lofted onto the deck during landing, but it appears that no Martian vandals have struck. Toward the front end of the rover, the instrument-packed robotic arm was stowed for those two weeks. It was redeployed on SOL 236, and the dust cover on the Pixel instrument was opened and closed to make sure things still work. Down on the ground in front of the rover, a spot had been chosen to monitor for any changes that might occur during its long-term parking. Here's a rock hammer for scale. The nav cam before and after views show that two weeks is enough time for wind to reshape the Martian surface just a little. The Ingenuity helicopter is parked just beyond our 2B ridge, which marks the boundary of the terrain known as CETA that Perseverance is exploring. The zoom lens on MassCam Z should be able to see Ingenuity, but that ridge is hiding it from view. Here's Mars Guy for scale, taking a look. Ingenuity woke up as planned on Sol 236, took a picture with its nav cam of the ground underneath, turned it into a radio signal, and beamed it back to Perseverance, which sent it on to Earth. With only a five minute difference in local time, the shifting shadow in these before and after nav cam images reveals the changing season on Mars. And like the rover deck and the ground in front of the wheel, these images reveal the tiny changes at the Martian surface from a few weeks of wind activity. Panning around to the west, MassCam Z captured the Mesa feature dubbed Kodiak. Here's the Egyptian pyramid Khufu for scale. It's the diagonal layers sandwiched between flat layers that give clear evidence that this Mesa was once part of the nearby delta deposit before erosion separated it. This was documented in a recent science paper. The view from the high-rise camera in orbit over Mars shows Kodiak Mesa and the Delta. Ingenuity got a bird's eye view during its reconnaissance of South Sita, imaging terrain that Perseverance would explore many weeks later. Perseverance has now arrived at this spot after completing three drives since returning to operations on SOL 236. It now has a commanding view to the south from its elevated location on the intriguing outcrops amongst the sands of Sitah.